loser Kevin Federline tried to get $60,000 from Britney back in 2018. Britney Spears has been paying Kevin Federline $40,000 a month. She believes it is time for Kevin Federline to get a job. There's a story saying that you're jobless. How's that affecting you? I have the same amount of jobs as Leonardo DiCaprio. Out of the 21 times that police were called to her home, four of those were wellness checks. Britney Spears has two ex-husbands, and at this point, both of them are trying to figure out ways to steal from her. Kevin has a plan to push child support as far as he can, racking up to $60,000 a month, while Sam Asghari claims that Britney needs to pay for his bills because actors like himself are out of work. So let's get into it. <laughs> Now that Britney Spears has been freed from her conservatorship and her marriage, we're seeing a lot more of her. But she's not a big fan of this extra attention. She claims that she was embarrassed by all of the paparazzis and the fans taking videos and pictures of her while she was in Cabo. It also looks like Britney was getting some new tattoos while she was on this vacation. She actually got a red snake tattoo along her spine. But back to Cabo, because we got a lot of footage of Britney and we haven't seen her like this in years. Brittany posted a video on Instagram and she wrote, I'm embarrassed as hell. Like a lost idiot, I heard music and horns from my car. I walked in like a deer in headlights and I had no idea I was being recorded from all sides. She actually claims that she was headed to Italy next after her time in Cabo, but it's great to see that she is out about and it appears to be the real Brittany. Brittany can be seen hanging out at the Baja Diablo bar in Cabo. Cabo San Lucas. At least one fan seems to have recognized her during the outing and can be heard shouting her name in the clip. At one point in the video, it looks like Britney suffers a minor wardrobe malfunction as one of her dress sleeves starts to slide down her arm as she grooves to the beat, but she quickly pulls up the sleeve back up and crisis averted. It wouldn't be a Britney outing unless there was some type of wardrobe malfunction, but she writes, I'm only human and I have no idea what the hell is going on with my hair, but I had to make a pit stop in Mexico. Let's go ahead and watch some of this Britney footage together. So Britney's seen hanging out like anybody else would, but part of me believes that this whole setup was planned by her own team to release footage of her and to make it seem like she's you know living a free life which we hope that she is there is an assistant who she's been bringing around pretty often lately we see them riding horses together and i don't know much information about her but i'm always worried about different people in britney's life it just doesn't seem like she can find good people. All of these evil people latch onto Britney and just suck her dry. Kind of like her ex-husband, Kevin Federline, who's definitely going through it now that their children are growing and becoming adults. He's not going to get his child support. Britney is relieved that Sean is turning 18 on September 14th because she's tired of paying $60,000 a month to Kevin. Britney is happy to help Sean and Jaden. There is nothing she wouldn't do for her sons, but this would go directly to them after they turn 18 instead of Kevin. I mean, back in May 2018, Kevin actually filed a order within the court to ask for $40,000 more a month. At one point, he was getting 20 k a month for his two sons, and then he upped it to 60 k And this was during the peak of the conservatorship, so really anything that Kevin wanted, he got it because Jamie was in control. Loser Kevin Federline tried to get $60,000 from Britney back in 2018. Oh my god. No, but seriously, that's three times what he actually gets. Britney Spears reportedly pays $20,000 a month to Kevin Federline for child support. He has 70% custody and she has 30. $20,000 a month is still a lot of money, but thank God he's not paying anywhere near what Kelly Clarkson is having to pay her ex-husband, which is 50000 But the bum did try for more. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you'd know that at one point, Kevin Federline asked the judge if he could move their sons to Hawaii. The reason why he wants to move to Hawaii is because they have different child support laws there, and he could end up getting more child support from Britney for a longer point while the children are already adults. He would get another five years of child support. And I hope the judge can see through this that he's just trying to manipulate the system and continue to get more money that they don't really need.
it's not often we get news coverage that feels like a win for Britney, so I am very excited to see this Daily Mail exclusive that Britney Spears is now relieved that her child support payments to ex Kevin Federline for Sean Preston, their older child, will end in a matter of weeks when he turns 18. Sean Preston is turning 18 on September 14th, so these child support payments for him are about to end. They report that even though Britney would do anything to help her children, she believes it is time for Kevin Federline to get a job, and I agree. A lot of fans were worried that Kevin Federline was moving the children to Hawaii in order to exploit a loophole on the ages in which you can ask for child support because in California, child support ends either when the child graduates high school or turns 19, whichever comes first. However, even though a lot of fans were worried about this, there's apparently a revised statute in the state of Hawaii. It's 576B611. And it states that if child support was established in another state, then the state in which it was established has exclusive jurisdiction. Meaning that Kevin cannot go back now and change the age to 23 because it was established in California at 18. So apparently any child support payments that she was making to Kevin Federline will end on September 14th. So there is a win for Britney. She won't be paying Kevin Federline that much. But her other son, Jaden, will end up turning 18 on September 12, 2024. And then Kevin Federline won't be receiving a dime from Britney. Unless he can figure out some type of loophole, he's going to go and have to get a job. Since May 2018, Britney Spears has been paying Kevin Federline $40,000 a month in child support. According to the Daily Mail, Britney has been paying a minimum of $420,000 a year to Kevin to support their boys. I'm glad she's going to be able to pay just a little bit less now because what? Anyway, I was really excited to just see an article that was something positive for Britney, so I had to talk about it. A little bit more on Kevin Federline, because he's got this super annoying lawyer, Mark Kaplan, and whenever Sam decided to file for divorce against Britney, he had something to say. This lawyer, Mark Kaplan, has overstayed his visit. He is way too invested in this family, and I guess he put out a statement for Kevin, saying that Kevin just hopes that Britney and Sam are able to make good decisions and work out, or either go their separate ways or get back together. He said whatever's best for them, he wishes her the best. Mark Kaplan went on to say that K-Fed is sorry that the marriage did not work out for his ex-wife and noted that the two have not spoken about the divorce at all. Obviously, if Britney reached out to Kevin, he wouldn't avoid her call, but I don't see any reason why they would be speaking because of her divorce to Sam. Okay, so if they're not even speaking about it, then why is he over here commenting to the press and giving his opinion on it, getting his lawyer all involved? But speaking of the divorce, it doesn't seem like Sam and Britney are necessarily getting along. And to me, it's a little bit petty i mean i haven't been in this situation so maybe it's not but it's a little bit petty that sam unfollowed britney on instagram like just like completely wiping her away like she's no longer in his life even though she's paying his rent it actually looks like he unfollowed a bunch of different people but britney continues to still follow him so who's the mature one here sam asgari unfollows britney spears on ig So now there's a lot of different people who are criticizing Sam and the fact that Britney is now supporting Kevin and him. So Sam addresses the rumors that he doesn't have a job and he blames the SAG strike, which it's a big deal for actors and everyone in entertainment, so I get it, but how convenient that this is his excuse and that's why he needs Britney to pay his bills. Like, did he not save anything up from everything else he's done in his acting career? Sam Asgari claims he has the same amount of jobs as Oscar winner Leonardo DiCaprio. And I have another question. You know, there's a story saying that you're jobless. How, how's that affecting you? I mean, that's the point of the strike. I have the same amount of jobs as Leonardo DiCaprio does, so. I hope everything gets uh, resolved very fast so we can all go back to what we love doing the most, which is making art and inspiring people. And writers are the heart and soul of every project we do. So, sack strong. Well, sir. All right, Sam, have a good day, man. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I don't understand why this man is still demanding the paparazzi come and talk to him and ask him these questions and give him these excuses. I mean, clearly he's trying to save his reputation, which at some point it seems like he was going to do anything to save his reputation, even threatening to expose Britney, which she's been like exposed by so many people close to her and exploited. Why would he continue doing this and threaten to release information, embarrassing information on her whenever he was supposed to be like her sacred partner? 
are, like they were married. Does that mean nothing to anyone else anymore? Of course, he's denying this, but I still believe that he had every intention of trying to trash her. Sam Asghari denying allegations he's threatening to exploit Britney Spears amid their split after one year of marriage. The public, you know, likes to judge. A rep for the 29-year-old tells ET he's also not attempting to challenge his prenup with the pop star, saying all the claims are false. Well, you know, we're all human. No negative intention has ever been directed towards her and never will be. Sam has always and will always support her. I'm just living my life right now. Now, looking back on their relationship, it just doesn't seem like they had this super happy relationship or marriage. There were four different wellness checks during Britney's marriage to Sam, so he definitely wasn't protecting her or their home. Granted, one of them were caused by us, the fans, calling the, well, I didn't call, but calling the police to check on her. Either way, it's interesting to see that like they just weren't necessarily that happy and it doesn't seem like Britney ever really felt safe in his presence or at her home and probably because he seems like he's a handler and I'm, I'm thinking that she's going to be hinting at that more and more because I do personally believe that Sam and Jamie Spears had some connection and Sam was giving information to Jamie Spears to ultimately hurt Britney and her case. I mean, what type of romantic partner is going going to sit here in silence and watch his girlfriend sent off to institutions being drugged. Clearly, he knew that there was something wrong here, but there was something more in it for him to maybe, I guess, gain this fame and become this big actor that he is nowadays. This article came out yesterday. It talks about all the times the police were called to her home between January 2019 and August 20th, 2023. Now, out of the 21 times that police were called to her home, four of those were wellness checks. Now, the last one was January 2023, where fans live streamed the call to the non-emergency line. I will say I was on that live, but I did not make that call. But that is the only one the article talks about. I want to know about the three other wellness checks that were made. The first wellness check at Britney Spears' house was on November 25th, 2021. And this was just a couple months after she and Sam Asghari were engaged. There was another wellness call on January 23rd, 2022. But there are no details about why they were called. And another wellness check was done six months later on December 2nd, 2022. And then the last time was January 24th, 2023. Why all the hate against the people and myself that were on the live stream for that when there were three other calls not done by fans, not done by people, three other wellness checks over the course of the last three years? Throw back to the time where Britney Spears called out her fans on Instagram because they sent the police to her home. And honestly, that's crossing a boundary. I understand if like, you know, we're not really getting straight reporting. We don't really know what's going on behind closed doors, but we can't be sending the police to her, especially when there are still dangerous people involved. Like I believe her agent, Cade Hudson, is someone we need to keep a closer eye on. So guys, I just want you to know if I shut down my Instagram, do not call the cops. No, don't ever be a roller coaster. I got this dress as well. Never be a roller coaster! But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other video ideas for me, here's my email. But until next time, I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye, guys.